Hey, it's Mr. Dang, and for today's Friday Functions video, I'll be showing you how you can gather feedback from your end users. Now, being part of the Power Apps Program Manager team, we're getting feedback from you in many different ways. So how do you copy some of those patterns for your, uh, for your apps? Well, today I'll be showing you just one of the many ways, and throughout uh, Friday Functions, I'll share even more ways. I hope you enjoy this video. I've opened up an app that I put a lot of time and effort into, and I want to make sure that my end users have a good experience with it. And I want to make sure that I validate that the experiences that I'm creating in this app are actually what they want. I can do that with a feedback, uh, a page where I can gather feedback. I can, there's an easy way to do this. We have introduced some new screen templates. If I go to either home or insert, and I click New Screen, you'll see a screen for email. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It adds a screen with all the controls and even connectors that are related to this uh, screen template. So you'll see that when I go to View Data Sources, on the side here, it's added my Office 365 Outlook connector. So I don't even have to go into the back end and add that manually. It only makes sense that I'm sending out an email from it. OK. So as part of this connector, let's play around with what it does so far, and then we'll tweak it to make it even better. From here, I could type in the name of a user inside my organization. I'll go ahead and type in my own. So it pulls up my connection. Uh, it pulls up the people who are relevant to that. And I could select that name. And then I could type in a subject line and a message. Now, we want to take this feedback form a little bit further. We want to make it so easy for people to give feedback that they just do it instinctively. Let's tweak this. For the to field, rather than having somebody type something in, we know that the feedback is always going to go to one source. And instead of sending it to one person, it's always best to send this to a, a mailing list. That way, if you're too busy to answer something, somebody else on this mailing list is available. For the default property of this control, I'm going to type in mailing list or distribution list at my domain.com. I'm just typing in something. Uh, typing in something by default. Now, because um, I'm not, I don't have to search somebody directly, I'll go ahead and hide that gallery that appears when somebody types in a name. I'll turn its visible property to false. And I'll go ahead and type in, and I'll go ahead and hide the uh, browse gallery Right now, it's showing this condition that when this is not blank, this gallery will appear. Go ahead and comment that out in case I want it later. I'll make it false. So it's always going to go to this distribution list and make sure that this is uh, the one that's chosen. As part of the subject, I'll go ahead and uh, pre-slug it with uh, whatever I want the subject line to be. Maybe I want the subject line to be feedback. And I can wrap that in square quotes. Feedback, and then I could write in the name of this app. Feedback from, and the name of my app is formative. Uh, from this, the user can type in anything else that they want after that line. But I want to, again, I want to pre-slug it so that uh, they always have the information that they need. In the message, it says, add a message in the hint text. Let's go into the hint text property. And let's give them something more specific than that. 
we want to give some more instructions. Tell us your feedback. From this, I'm going to expand it. And I'm going to give them some sentence starters. I would like to see dot, dot, dot. Um, you can give them sentence starters for bugs. I noticed that. Uh, I am experiencing dot, dot, dot. So you give whatever sentence starters would be most, uh, uh, most useful to your, to your end users. Final things to tweak. Uh, we do need to, since we're plugging these things in for the users, this top one where we're entering the email address, we'll turn its display mode to view. And because we know that we're always using the same email address, I'll go into this arrow, which is going to be running the actions. It Right now, it's setting the email recipient string to a concatenation of that um, of the collection that's created by the other uh, the other part and I'll go ahead and replace that with the email address that's typed here so I can type in uh, the name of this control which is text search box one it could be different on yours I'll go back into that formula and replace concat with that email address, since it's going to be the same thing every single time. Text search box one dot text. Uh, and everything else should be the same. Now I have a way of gathering feedback for my end users. In the next uh, video that I'm going to be putting uh, on gathering feedback, I'll write about. Uh, I'll be showing you ways that you can use Flow to perform more actions and make those uh, make the feedback that you receive more actionable. Add it to a checklist. Make it something that uh, others can follow up on. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more interesting Power Apps, please subscribe.